Hey everyone, I just wanted to go over my birthing story with Easton. Uh, it was pretty traumatic and I thought maybe if I shared it, I don't know, I'd get some comfort in it myself or maybe help out another mom who is going through the same scenario. So Easton was born August 25th at 5.30 a.m. They put him on my chest and the doctors and nurses were um, looking at my umbilical cord. I guess it was the biggest they've ever seen. Um, but during that time he was on my chest and he was blue and not moving. So I said, there's something wrong. He's not breathing. And the nurse came over, grabbed him and put him on a machine and started to resuscitate him. And it took about three minutes for them to actually get him to come around. Uh, his oxygen was probably 20 to 25 percent. So they had to hold him or hold an uh, oxygen mask on him. The hospital was not equipped for any kind of infant trauma or anything like that. So they ended up calling in the children's hospital. So we had to wait till probably 11.30 for the ambulance to get here. Then they put a tube in his throat and a tube up his nose and an IV in his forehead. Um, and by the time they were done all that, uh, it was probably 1.30 and they had sent him off to the children's. So when he was there, the first day he had a procedure where they uh, inflated his lungs with surfactant and uh, they sedated him and you're supposed to come out of sedation a few hours, give or take, but it took him five days to come out of the sedation and during that time they had to resuscitate him about three or four times. Um, so he wasn't looking very good and then on day five or six he started to come out of his sedation, started to move. We could actually touch him, which was really nice. And then on day seven, we were allowed to hold him and his eyes started to open. So on day seven was kind of the day that we, okay, he's going to make it. He's a fighter. We've got this. And, um, and then slowly each day, he became a little bit better and a little bit better. It was very slow. It wasn't a sudden, he's sick and he's better. It was just slow. Um, then they released us, which was... One of the happiest days, um, my boys flew home that day they were with their dad, so they got there the day he was released, so it was great, we had our family back together, but there was just some things that I felt that I missed out on. Um, I breastfed my daughter, who's now 18 months, until the week he was born, and I planned on breastfeeding him as well, but since he was... Um, sedated they had to feed him through a tube and they ended up feeding him formula so by the time he was the tube was out he had already become adjusted to not latching and um, he just never latched and to this day he's three months now and I still try and hope that he'll latch but I've kind of given up hope on that so that's one thing that I kind of missed out on and I'm kind of regretting that they never gave him my breast milk that they gave him formula they also gave him a soother the whole time, which, I mean, I'm not really, I wish they hadn't given him a soother, but now he's become needy or like dependent on it, which is kind of not the greatest either. So there's that. And then, yeah, he's, um, he's pretty colicky. He, he cries quite a bit and we still have issues feeding and, uh, he seems to, not want to catch his breath while he's eating and then seems to choke on the formula so we're still trying to feed him very slow feeds so he gets his oh you're all right so he gets the right amount of formula in but other than that he's he's a very healthy three-month-old baby um but yeah i just found some bit it was pretty traumatic and i just wish like he's gonna be our last baby we i have i have four babies and uh, yeah, he is the last, so I kind of was hoping for a more peaceful and not traumatic birth, but at least he's here, happy and healthy. If you guys have any questions or if you guys are going through the same thing and want to reach out, I'm here. If you want to just send me a message, go ahead. All right. Thanks everyone for listening.